All right, so I'm back, and today we're gonna look at Buzz Off and Jitsu. But before we take a look at those, let's take a look at the awesome packages that they have. Uh, if you've been collecting the Mo2 Origins, yeah, you know what to expect with the packaging. There's stuff you could collect here, and there's awesome artwork on the top. And look at that, I already have the Sorceress out of the package. Because I did not know I was going to do a review on these guys, but they're too awesome to not do a review on them. But let's take a look at the package. Now there is one more figure to collect, now that's the Stratos. But if you've been collecting, you already know that we already got one. Now this one's the gray version, and the other one's like a tan one. If you're creative enough, you could use one of those stratos as one of the guards. But if you use this technique, you'll probably need to customize a head though. Because you don't want all of them looking like stratos. But enough chit-chatting, let's open these guys up. So let's take out the comic book and the figure itself. Now this is how they're packed in. Now this one has the rubber band around it. And they got one of these mother- I honestly hate them. But this is the figure out. And... Let's take a look at all the things that comes with it. The wings could move up and down in 360. Now they do feel kind of loose, but that's okay. Now it's a little hat glasses thing. Now that sits really well in its head. And it goes through this little hole thing, which secures it really good. Now you can see when I shake it around, it will not come off. And yes, you could put it backwards. Um, I don't... I don't know who wants that. But you can see one of my biggest gripes is it does not go down like that. It would have been cool, but that's all right. Another big thing I found is the head movement is not that good. It's really limited. But the hands are really cool. They bend like this and they turn 360. My knees on buzz off is also really loose. So it's got this, <laughs> it's got this stance all the time, but that's all right. It could be fixed. So let's check out its weapon that it came with. And it comes with this weird axe thing, which could be used to shoot laser beams for some reason. Or also bonk someone Ouch. over the head. And I think I forgot to mention, but it also came with a comic book and a little pamphlet here, which contains all the parts you could remove. Now one of the biggest issue about Buzz Off is it holds its weapons really weird. There's grooves inside its claws thing, but it's really hard to put in the weapon, but it holds it really tight if you do. Now let's check out Jitsu. Let's take out the comic book and let's open this guy up. Now he's also packed the same way. And comes with this weird pamphlet thing that shows all the parts that you can remove. And taking a look at the packaging, you can see that it does not have those plastic things. But it does come with a rubber band, but that's alright. Now that's the figure outside, and you can notice that it comes with this big hand. That could actually fight people, like that. Oh, my head! Now, one big issue I got with mine is the left hand is frozen but that's okay I'll fix it in another time now we got a special weapon for him now you could guess yes it's a katana that you could use to beat up people again now checking the sizes on these guys they are slightly above he-man except for jitsu now overall I think these figures are really good I, I really enjoyed playing around with the Jitsu, but that means I need to get a Fisto to go with them. But overall, I think these figures are really worth the money and were a solid pickup for me. Although one big downside was uh, Jitsu's left hand was stuck, but that could be fixed and I think that might be a problem overall with the Jitsu figures. But thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.